So welcome back everyone, Mikey and Melissa here. Uh, before we get started today, we have some really big news to share with all of you. Daughter Eva has finally passed her driver's test. Third time's a charm. It has been very frustrating for her and for all of us. Uh, what has been frustrating for me is I couldn't figure out what was going, going wrong. You know what I mean? She's been driving for six months on her permit, doing very, very well. Uh, but I'm just going to say it. The first time, I think she's a little bit overconfident. What do you think? Yes. She's a little overconfident the first time. The second test, what happened was it was the first time they were back to normal where the instructor or the tester is in the car with them. And this day they were actually training someone. So I had to get out. And then there were two people in the car and she was super nervous. Uh, very, very nervous. And she choked. And today was test number three. <laughs> And she had a really nice guy by the name of Roy. Uh, he was real pleasant, real personable. Eva started talking to him a little bit, and he said that uh, they're really not supposed to talk much because they don't want to people make people nervous. And Eva said, well, it makes me nervous when you don't talk. So uh, they had a little bit of a conversation, not much, but uh, he said she did a fantastic job, and she finally got her driver's license. So... We're pretty so, excited about that. Mike's really sad that he's not going to see his friends up at the driver's training. Yeah, three center. weeks in a row, every Wednesday. That's where I was headed. Hey, hey me again. They <laughs> saved him a seat and a paper. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad that's over. And she actually just left. Uh, she's headed to the gym. She's not going to be out, you know, ripping all over the country or anything. No. Start off going to the gym. It's only a couple miles from here. And we'll kind of ease into it. But, yeah, that's a big time in a kid's life. It is. And ours. Like, that's the last child, you know? Last child. <sighs> Maybe. You never know. Hunter might take his driver's test one day. I know for sure he'd love to. <laughs> Yo, he would love that. But, anyway, that's the big news. And we have some more big news, actually. We're going to take a look at this new chainsaw today. Uh, I haven't seen one of these yet. I haven't even seen a video on these yet. This is the Steel MS 400. This is another one of Steel's professional grade saws. Uh, by all indications, it's going to be a home run. So uh, we're going to get into this, go over some of the specs, some of the features, and then we'll go down to the wood pile and put it in some wood and see how it does. So one of the features that you would expect from a uh, Steel Pro Series saw, it has the captive bar nuts, which is a very nice feature. Keeps you from losing your bar nuts. And by the way, this is where the oil comes in from your oiler to oil the chain right here. Now this is a 66 cc chainsaw and the power head weighs in at a mere 12.8 pounds, which is absolutely incredible. And we have a 20 inch light bar with this saw. We're gonna put this on. The light bar is light. I mean light. You can tell just by picking it up. I need to get a light bar on that 500i. It's pretty well balanced as it is, but I think with the light bar it'll even be a little bit better. Something else you'll notice, it has the steel elasto start. This is a nice uh, pull rope on these. Kind of has a little bit of give, like a built-in uh, shock absorber. Got the uh, decompression valve right here. That light bar looks really nice on there. I might have to adjust this chain just a little more. So I would say that this saw fits in right between the MS-362 and the 462. Uh, the 362 is a 59cc saw, the 462 is 72, and as I said, this is a 66cc saw. Now what makes this stand out from the others is this has a magnesium piston in it. And what that does, they can get more displacement out of it, more power and torque without any additional weight. So I'm really looking forward to kind of trying this thing out. Uh, we're going to take the cover off, look at the air filter, some of the other features here, and then uh, we'll fill it up with some fuel and oil, adjust this chain a little bit, and we'll go down and put it in some wood. But uh, 
It's a great looking saw. Made in Germany. Here's how you remove the cover. Turn each of these a quarter turn. One, two, three. This has a summer and winter setting. Right now it's set on summer. To switch it to winter mode, flip that around, stick it back in somehow, and that would be on winter mode. Snowflake, sunshine. So since it is summer, we're going to flip it back around to summer mode. Now this has the Mtronic system on it, so you know it automatically adjusts for a dirty air filter, elevation, all that kind of stuff. Air filter just spins right off. Kind of clamps back into place. Put the cover back on. So something that, uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but the air filter, it has like a uh, pre-cleaner or pre-separator on it that removes all the heavy particles before it gets to the air filter, which extends the life, you know, between cleanings. I think I got this chain pretty good. We're going to put some fuel in it. The fuel tank, it holds uh, just a little over 20 ounces of fuel. And oil, right around 11, right around 11 ounces of bar oil. They say they're pretty fuel efficient. Time will tell. And I'll keep you guys updated on this saw. You know, it usually takes five or six tanks of fuel for them really to get broke in. But I just went inside. I said I hadn't seen a video. I did see a couple. Most of them were from... Uh, overseas a little bar oil I didn't spill any fuel we'll see how well I do with the uh, bar oil but I'm telling you it's July 14th right now I always say once uh, 4th July is over win winter's going to be here before you know it Ooh, that was pretty close right there It'll be fall. That's my favorite time of year. All right. So as far as uh, what size bar you can run on this saw, steel recommends between 16 and 25 inches. This is a 20 inch bar and running a 3 8 chain on it. So it should be right about in its sweet spot, you would think. All right, we're down here at the wood pile. I'm going to uh, take the excavator here, grab a log out of the pile. I think I'll take this maple right here on top. It's about 25 feet long. The big end, it looks to be about 13, 14 inches. Small end, maybe around 8. This will be our test piece here. Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, 14 inches in diameter at this end. We'll cut a few rounds off this, see how that uh, 400 does. I think it'll plow right through this pretty quick. All right, we'll see how it runs.
For what it's worth, I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on the Steel MS400. It's a nice light saw. It's not going to wear you out if you're running it all day. And also I wanted to mention that light bar weighs about 35% less than a standard bar. The saw gets up to speed very quickly, runs fast, has plenty of power. However, if you were listening there when I was cutting, it's not in the groove yet. You know, this is the first tank of fuel. I only did 10 or 12 cuts with it so far, but after about five or six tanks, it should really find its sweet spot. The one thing that really stands out to me about this saw is the vibration. I guess I should say lack of vibration. There's literally no vibration at all. It's probably the smoothest saw that I have ever run. Now the 500 is pretty good. This is even better. I don't know if it's a, you know, the anti-vibration system they have or that lighter magnesium cylinder that does it, but there is like no vibration at all. So that's the story on the MS400. Like I said, I'll report back in a few weeks. I've got uh, plenty of wood to cut with it, as you can see. Now these two right here, these are walnuts. These came from Plumber Jim. They'll go in the sawmill. But everything else in this pile here is for firewood. Those logs over there are saw logs. They'll go on the sawmill. So before we wrap this video up, we're going to take a quick ride down to the pond and check things out down there. If you saw those videos the other day, you know I had some problems down there. My standpipe was plugged up, so I rented a snake and I got it cleaned out, and then I got the snake stuck in the pipe, and it's still in there. Well, over the last couple of days, we had some real heavy rains, and my concern is if that snake's all tangled up in there, it wouldn't take much to plug the pipe up again. So we're going to go down right now, see what it looks like. All right, everything's okay down here. There's a few sticks on the standpipe there, but that's no big deal. And uh, by the way, someone was asking the other day why the water level's so low and the water's just running into the standpipe. Well, there's a coupler on there and there was actually another piece on there that's about a foot and a half tall and I had taken that off. This road down here, it's all tore up. That one rut's probably three feet deep and all this stuff is what I dug out of the corner of the pond right there where everything kind of accumulated. So I think tomorrow I'll come down here in the morning, clean this all up, and get this road fixed up. So I just got back up to the house here, but uh, I was thinking how proud I am of Eva. Not so much for the driver's test. I mean, I am for that. What I'm most proud of, though, is how she doesn't get embarrassed. She doesn't yeah. care. She mentioned in a video the other day, at the wedding the other day, part of her speech for yeah. uh, Hannah, she was joking about failing her driver's yeah, test. For teaching me how to drive, although I failed my tests. So. Yeah, <laughs> but she has such a good spirit and personality and sense of humor. And she took care of all that. I know. She did all of the scheduling, all the paperwork that needed in the beginning of, we did nothing. A few years ago, she went to Canada and she needed a passport. Yeah. She handled all that. She yeah. took care of all the paperwork. And um, told me what amount of money she needed written on a check. But other than that, she made the appointment. She took care of it all. Yeah. And what's cool is, like I said, most kids would be embarrassed. Oh, I failed my test. I know. She has no problem. That's all right. Pick herself up and do it yeah. again until she gets it done. Yeah. So, I do like her spirit. That's cool. But anyway, you want to wrap this video up for me, Melissa? Hey, thanks so much for being here, for watching. We love you being a part of this community. Comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one.